Hi guys, uh, on this miscellaneous section, I uh, just wanted to record some odd things that you might encounter yourself when uh, configurating sceneries in uh, GSX2. Now, this is one of the cases uh, that shocked me when I configured uh, London Heathrow. As you can see, here we are in uh, between gates 558 and 557. Now, 557 seems apparently okay. It has a gate that has been a uh, jetway that has been uh, exchanged by uh, GSX2 jetway. And the other one is just a stand. Now, if you go to the menu of um, available gates and we fast forward to 557 and 558, you're going to see that the one that doesn't have a jetway is 557 and the one that does is 558. Now, I didn't configure anything on this uh, jetway because I found the situation, so I wanted to report it and uh, record it so you can see why is this happening. So if you go to 557, okay, which is the gate that doesn't have the jetway, we're going to customize the parking position and it's not going, it shouldn't show here a jetway anyway, exactly. So we don't have a jetway. If we go, however, to 558, it says it does. Okay. So what GSX has wrongfully done is placed, uh, it's converted this into a, or maybe it was probably on the AFCAT file, okay, that uh, it was configured this scenery to have a jetway when it actually doesn't. And this one that does, it didn't. Therefore, in the in the automatic conversion of the uh, customization, it placed the jet away instead of 558, which it has nowhere to go. It placed it on the on the next one. So what you're seeing here, this jetway here, is actually the jetway of the other side placed on the wrong place. And I'll show you how I know this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to customize the part, the jetway system. And I'm going to ask him to show me with the F4 key, where is the jetway of this parking position? And it should jump to the Okay, bridge. Yeah, see, it goes over there. So it's telling us that this jetway, it belongs to this parking place, not to the 557. Now, the simplest way to solve this is just going to 558, which is where we're standing now, and tell him we have no jetway whatsoever. Okay? Therefore, we got rid of the of the problem with 558, we apply it. Next time you load, this J will disappear from there. And we go here and we say it has one jet away, okay? That is going to be placed over there. And we're going to customize the jetway. And therefore, the plane will jump to the next position. And now this jetway does belong to this area, okay? Now, the only thing you have to do here is, uh, you know, do the proper customization, we're going to uh, there. Okay, now um, if we turn it a little bit to the right and we press number five to make sure that this gateway has the capability of accessing door one and door two on the left of this plane. Now, the only thing left to be done is uh, make sure we're in the right parking space, and uh, we are not. We're a bit to the left. We move forward.
And uh, so yeah, this is finished. Get rid of the Marshall. And we're set to go. So this is another of the funny cases I found, funny situations I found in GSX. Now uh, another thing, another uh, another reason why you should uh, double check uh, all this massive configuration of a large airport like uh, Heathrow. It's the example that I, the previous example that I showed you that it placed the jetway on the wrong position. Now there's also I think this comes from the AFCAT file. You see that this plane is part on. You know, in, Jed in uh, Heathrow, they have a gate Lima and gate Romeo. Like the, what actually they mean is gate left and gate right, which are gates that are parked on the light, uh, left or right position of the number of the gate that it belongs to. Now, for some reason, I think this, there might be a duplicity in the AFCAT file. You see there's two identical gates, and this cannot be in an airport. And uh, this one, if you go to the customized parking, is going to place it on the right of 305. This parking place, it does exist. It's here, 305 Romeo, 305 right. But this gate does not have a parking uh, jetway facility. It's impossible. And if it does, it would come from this one that is not operational because it's not, it's a uh, it's the one from the default scenery that uh, you cannot operate it anyway. It's not a sort of a jetway. It's part of the architecture, as I explained before. So therefore, we have to eliminate this, uh, this 305. It will still be there, but at least it will not have a parking, a jetway, sorry. So we press apply. And uh, next time you open the, the simulator, uh, this 305 will not have a J on the right hand side. Now you still have two 305s, okay? But this one should have been placed there as 305 right because it's on the right. So that's an error, okay? We're just going to remove the jetway and forget about it. Now if we go to the other one, this one is the one we've taken the jetway away, and this one is the one that we have to customize. And this one I've already checked. And uh, in the previous uh, uh, chapters that I explained about Heathrow, I said there was uh, 116 jetways, but I forgot about the ones at the bottom. They're the left and right jetways, okay, of the airport. They're already configured and they're available in the download, download uh, link that is below this video. So, yeah, this is another thing. 